for real? <laughs> to answer you. Do I, are you, are we, am I talking to you? I would say the headline for the multifamily asset class would best be described as mixed current conditions, but momentum mounting. We have a situation whereby fundamentals are inherently in a weakened state compared to where they were even a few years ago. However, there are signs that some of those uh, slippage in fundamentals is improving. We're starting to see a turning point emerge. Multifamily, first of all, is broken into a lot of segments now. And you've seen more of us be specialists within multifamily and then be specialists within certain segments. And so I'm talking about renting to seniors, middle-aged people and families, more affordable residents, renting bigger apart, bigger homes, like the single family rental movement, specialty student housing, specialty uh, traditional market rate housing. We are experiencing a uh, cyclical demand slowdown in the sort of high frequency economic sensitive, sensitive sectors like US multifamily and a cyclical a kind of a hypercyclical surge in supply. We have completions that are just now coming off of really high peaks in multifamily. I think over the next couple of quarters, we anticipate that fundamentals will stabilize and start to turn the corner. So what that means in real terms is vacancy will sort of hit its top, start to improve, occupancies will improve. I think you'll start to see a relative reacceleration in the pace of rent growth. And I think what's interesting for both is those are the spaces where the purpose of the real estate, the way the, the space is being consumed is also changing. So when we think about multifamily, it's a traditional class um, in terms of the rental apartment market rate. If you invest earlier in recoveries, you tend to do better. I think that's going to hold true for multifamily when we look back on this period. I also think there's going to be an under expectation of how some of the high growth markets in the South and West are going to perform. Yes, those markets have seen a lot of supply, but they're still expected to see an outsized share of demand. People continue to move into places like Texas and Florida. And so I think there's going to be a a potential for an upside surprise when it comes to those markets, especially as we move past the next 18 months and we move into years three, four, and beyond. So I think within the trend within multifamily is very, very positive fundamentals. It's challenging to build new units. So I think we have a very good market as we move forward in multifamily over the next five to seven, maybe 10 years. But now we're seeing more investor interest in SFR, BTR, student housing, active adult. There's so many different new sort of spin-offs that are more alternative uses of the residential and living sector. That alternative use in those proven out spaces is really going to take us through the next few years. I think the biggest opportunity in multifamily is the opportunity to buy below replacement costs today make some renovations, do some of the value add that, that renters are telling us they want in today's marketplace and still offering that at a rent level that is below the brand new class A product that's delivering. So you're, you're offering people what they want, you're getting it at a below replacement cost basis, you're able to sort of create value through active asset management. I think that's really going to win the day in the coming cycle.